Ross is on vacation. Um, I'm not supposed to mention. He's actually at a uh, focus group, or not not a focus, kind of like a group therapy of anybody who's anti-Semitic. Uh, forced so. labor camp, I think, yeah. is the yeah yeah the right word. Mm-hmm. Isn't he at a wedding? Uh, I'm not sure. He 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 had like a selfie, and I just saw in the back it said like hard work will set you free. Oh so, God, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Man, I, hope you, I, I really hope he's able to concentrate <laughs> at this camp. Oh my God, you yeah. guys are terrible, terrible people <laughs> through and through. Uh, today's episode, just a quick shout out to our sponsor, is uh, Capri Sun. Uh, they make juice, they put it in bags, and for people, some reason, it's a product. Personally, people. I think High C is better. Well, does High C come in a bag? No, it comes in a. It's actually a juice box. That's not a juice box. That's a juice pouch. So I think what you're trying to say is, and you can pop the boxes. Well, I think a pre is just too. Probably just can't afford boxes. Probably. Yeah. So if I ask you, would you rather drink juice out of a box or a bag? You would say a box. A box. But about- but you could hook up a pouch to your bloodstream right away. That's true. That's true. I don't know. Uh, well, that's why I like. That's why I always stick to morphine pouches instead of morphine boxes. <laughs> Capri Sun makes morphine. They're going to eventually, probably. Oh man! But Prob- what? But, Patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> but High C is made by that awesome, cool green ghost. That's true. That's true. You guys are thinking outside the box. <laughs> oh! Uh, you guys ready to play a game? Yep. We're gonna play a uh, Would You Rather, the outrageous book of bizarre choices. Uh, I guess it's. I'm just gonna pick a random page. Random page. Yeah. Drink the water from the hot tub after a fraternity party, or drink Mexican tap water. Ooh, tough call. Drink what? Mexican tap water. Yeah, I'm going to say the tap water yeah, too. Yeah, same here. I'm kind of. I don't really feel like drinking other people's pubes. Yeah. Right. Or and one well, plus one the like chemicals like chlorine, like yeah. And, and what do you hear? Like, I mean, let, let's be on. Let's be blunt, okay? Bro, you know, sweat or Mexicans. Oh, well, I'm you know. like. Other fluids and things well, in the hot so tub. I would the Mexicans would the Mexican tap water be a little spicier and come with tortillas? I was gonna say that. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking. It, I heard there's a lot of parasites. So to me, mm-hmm. I, and I like shrimp. Mm-hmm. So, so kind of. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. And going back to your apple cider vinegar, I've heard that Mexican water will give you the runs. So if you're looking oh, to yeah, right? lose you some lose weight, weight, vinegar yeah. free on that Mexican resort getaway. Yeah. Um, right. So perfect. Cool. The am council sp- has decided. Am I supposed to read the rest? Doesn't matter. Uh, That's uh, ju- those are just random facts at the bottom. Oh, really? There's facts. Yeah, there's yeah. facts. What do they say? So, first one is Legionnaires' disease, tuberculosis, and herpes germs have all been found in hot tubs. However, the most common bacterial infection contracted in hot tubs results in an untreatable red itchy rash that lasts for about ten days. The rash is often accompanied by a sore throat, sore eyes, chills, fever, nausea. And cramps. I'm happy we went with the Mexican yeah. tap yeah. water. Here's actually a fun fact about about most pools. I know the guy with the facts over here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know the smell you usually associate that chlorine smell with uh, public pools. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's actually the smell of your ur- of people's urine and chlorine mixing in together. Oh, really? Yeah, chlorine actually has no smell. Oh, delicious, man. I know. Yeah, no, chlorine just gives you a headache. I think doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, like like Clorox. you know how your eyes get all red shot and stuff like that, yeah. and your skin always gets itchy. Yeah, that's because people pee in public pools. Oh. oh, yeah. So that's how you know it's working. Exactly. I mean, I'm one of the very few people who has never peed in the public pool. Though. Yeah, liar. I never have. Yeah, I, don't I actually got out of the pool to go pee. That's I pee every time, I'll be honest. I, yeah. I go to the pool just to pee. Yeah. Like, if I have to go to the bathroom, I stop by the pool, mm-hmm. take care of myself, breathe in that nice chlorine smell, and uh, continue with my day. I actually found this video online. This guy... Uh, figured out some way to determine how much pee is actually in a public pool. Ooh. He saw an average of about 40 gallons of piss in it. In your normal, like, Olympic size? Olympic size pool and everything. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's something. Yeah. Is there a fun fact about the Mexican tap water, or was it just about... Uh, I just I, closed he, the book. He lost oh. the... Oh, come on. <laughs> Dude. I, um, I, w- when, I went to, uh, when I went to a hotel when I was a kid, Yeah. I... um. I did it just to be to see what would happen. Uh, I went to this. There was a sauna outside the pool, and it was like one of those where there's coals, but they're electrically heated up. Yeah. And I realized like there's all these old guys like, r- like squeezing out their towels on the coals so that it gets hotter because the evapor like the yeah. steam. So I peed on the coals, and the next guy that came in like couldn't fucking breathe, almost <laughs> passed out. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Would not want to be in that sauna. No, not at all. You don't want to. You don't want piss steam therapy. No. No, I've heard it. All right, let me look up piss steam therapy facts in here. Right. Or let's hear another. Would you rather? You want it? Check sure, it. I'll do. I'll do one here. Show right. off your ability to read. Mock me. <laughs> to, oh, the. Um. Would you rather suck pea soup from a biker's beard, or eat baby drool while the little tyke is is eating strained peas? Oh man, that's a hard one. Biker yeah. beard. I'd say probably biker beard, because kids got germs. That's true. And bikers have germs too. Oh, I'm just comfortable with bikers beards. Bikers are hot though, man. Oh, well, there's a joke in here. <laughs> Uh, what's the difference between roast beef and pea soup? Anyone can roast beef. Huh. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't fucking get it. Well, because you can't mm. pea soup, like, urinate. I guess so. I, I'm hey, kind of pissed off that he stole my joke. All right. Pygnophobia. The fear of beards. Huh. I used to have that when I was a kid. I'm yeah. not kidding. Yeah. I see you overcame that. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, you know what's weird? Like, most shit that I used to be terrified of, I fucking love as an adult. Like, I used to be afraid of the Aliens franchise, and yeah. I fucking love it now. i never seen any of those movies. Oh, man, they're I love them. I don't know. I, you, you know what I realized, though, too? I don't know if it's, like, maybe a Polish old-school thing, but, like, everybody that I talk to, they fucking hate anything sci-fi and love Westerns, and I'm, like, the complete really? opposite. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what it has to do with. Maybe it's a... Religious thing too, sure. Because I was talking to some pretty religious people. Sure. Robots are an affront to God. Yeah, the earth, oh. the earth is flat because the Bible says so. Like cowboy, right? Um, Jesus, Idiots. the cowboy. Dude, what about space cowboys? Right. Think about that. That's a great song by Jamiroquai. Is it? Yep. Oh, huh. how does it go? I spent that a lot good, of huh? Yeah, really good lyrics. Yeah. Just Kevin, so you know you've never listened <laughs> to the podcast. I spend a lot of time trying to get other people to sing. Yeah. So yeah. it'll. I yeah no, it didn't click. I just put on the Jamiroquai play- playlist, and I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. I don't. I can remember. Okay. All right. You get a pass this time. Sorry, man. But if you're talking about anything else musical, Fuck. you have to sing it. I have to sing it. That's right. I'll keep that in mind that I won't I won't talk about anything to do with music. <laughs> well, I was going to talk about Behemoth, but that's going to be <laughs> every song, you know. See, Kevin, I always get people to sing. Oh, he did it. That's right. Oh, no, wait a minute. That was Lamb of God. Here's Behemoth. <laughs> I hear a difference. I, hear a I wasn't difference. gonna say, but yeah, thank you. I, yes. yeah. I was embarrassed. Yeah. Spe- yes. So speaking, or, or, or we're still doing Would You Rather, right? We are. All right. Around and around and around, around it goes. Where it stops, right here. Would you rather eat a small can of cat food or seven lemons, including the seeds, pulp, juice, and rind? I've eaten a can of cat food, so yeah. What so I you've done. So you lived this one then. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, because I, I was like, what the f-? Like I was uh, concerned of why can't you give like human chicken to a cat? Yeah. And I think it's whatever hormones and shit that they put in when they, you know, factory farming or something. I think I'm going to choose a Seven Lemons, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They didn't say how you have to eat them. I can seeds. I would just I would just eat and pulp and juice go in lemonade, sure. and the rind you, you can use in, in like a lemon meringue pie. Yeah. I want to. How was the cat food when you tried it? Yeah. Uh, it was just really. Um, I don't know what the word is to describe it. It kind of reminds me of like you ever have you ever have liver sure. when you make chicken soup? Yeah. Like just the liver. It's really mm-hmm. uh. So bad is the word you're looking yeah. for? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's really bloody. Like, like it's got a blood taste. Have you ever had like blood sausage? Yeah, yeah. It, I it imagine it tastes kind of like gamey. Yeah, it's, I'm. I'm not concerned about how it tastes like. I'm more concerned about why you ate it. Oh yeah, because I because I want. I'm like one day I'm like, well, what the fuck is the difference if, you know, I'm eating uh, some, you know. What, Harold's fried chicken and my cat's like whining on my shoulder trying to have some. I'm yeah. Like, this is not the same thing as yours. All right, I'll try just for you. <laughs> and I had some like, like ah, oh, this is. So, uh, oh, so you traded? You yeah, traded yeah. dinners? Like a lot right. of solidarity. Dude, I'll have some yeah. of yours if you give me some of, some of yours. Yeah, exactly. That's the kind of shit I do when I'm home alone. <laughs> that's, that's worrisome. <laughs> you should spend a lot less time alone then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're a stepfather. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, the family's here. No more chicken games. <laughs> right? Yeah. Got, got. Here, here's your food back. 
And also, it doesn't say how big the can is. It says exactly. a small can. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know what I was thinking about? Because I, I, I've been watching a shitload of really ridiculous diet movies, like, uh, like you know, Super Size Me, mm-hmm. the the sugar movie, the, the, or that sugar movie. That's what, Those things aren't that bad when you put them in a magic bullet. No. They'd go down pretty quick. What, cat food? Anything. Think about putting anything that like edible in a magic bullet, and and, and you just chug it; it would go down. You know, actually, I found out too that you will gain more weight if you don't make smoothies because your body digests it different. Like if you ate a banana compared to if you put it in a magic bullet, then it's differently because your body's using energy and and like tactics to digest that banana and, and creating juices w- rather than when you blend something, you're just pretty much fucking drinking it. Huh. So what you're saying, you, it's better to not make a smoothie. It is you healthier. I don't, I don't know if we're talking about cat food or bananas right now. Sure. Well, I'm, put I'm it in a magic bullet. Yeah, right. Put them in together. I mean, when I make some smoothies for you know some asshole kids who are Catholic jumping in my castle, I put some pubes in there, and there that's you a go. lot healthier for them. Yeah, from the hot tub. Right. So, <laughs> we're, we're torn. We've got a lemon eater and two. Two cat food eaters. Do you, do you ever watch like a really geeky um, like cooking show and they ex- explain how like the like when you could put too much fucking lemon zest in something? I have not seen that. No, it's it's really really ridiculous. Wait, is this a common thing or is this one specific video? No, it's a common thing. Where, where it's it's like if you don't do it right, then the chef will fucking scream at you. Like every show. Oh, that, they, yeah. You just probably explain any any cooking reality show in general. Yeah, yeah, sure. pretty much. Gordon Ramsay show, yeah, oh, pretty much, that, yeah, and they just scream, yeah, they they scream like you know that feeling you get when like you watch a video of like a dog getting rescued and you're like, oh my god, I hope they do it, I hope they do it right, I hope they, do it. Yeah. it's like the same feeling watching them they, zest lemons, yeah, yeah, because <laughs> because they fucking like uh, you know when you have a cheese grater and there's the one side for parmesan, yeah, mm-hmm. they use that and like if you go too far then it's like exactly yeah. shit or something. I um I would love to see one of those cooking uh, reality shows with like the Swedish chef and the Muppets. Mm. Right, I think that'd be great. That'd be, yeah, I. You know what I was thinking about? Like, wouldn't that be not healthy for if you use any fucking zest because that's like completely doused in fertilizer? That's a good question, actually. I mean, I mean, I mean, I imagine you're rinsing off these lemons, though. But oh sure. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, then couldn't you say that about anything grown ever? Although, well, no. I like when you eat bananas, you just eat the inside. Or when you eat apple, well, if you don't peel, you know, if you pe- eat oranges, you just peel, you don't eat the outside. Sure. I don't know. So. Plus, lemons are grown from a tree, so it's not like fertilizer is being poured on it. Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Would you rather... Would you rather... Eat fertilizer or not eat fertilizer? I think I'd go with the fertilizer, yeah. actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A guy my size usually doesn't choose not doesn't choose not eating. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. All right. We're agreed. Fat joke uh, upon myself. <laughs> Would you rather sleep with Fred Flintstone or Barney Rubble? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Barney Rubble, because Fred would totally make you bottom bitch. True. He, yeah. What about you? I'm but, going with Barney. I think his hands are probably softer and gentler, and he just seems more loving. I, everyone always says Bernie. I say Bernie too, because you know he'd want to cuddle. That's right, right? Yeah. But you would get some splinters, because he's in that fucking bark. That's true. Costume, he's got, you know. Ooh. Well, uh, you need to like cut, drill a hole where his butthole is, you know. And well, also, like Fred's Fred's kid is way cuter than Barney's. So if you were taking it like a step further, how big's the bed? You know. Yeah. True. True. Is there a fun fact? Just for don't, that one? don't. Oh, that was just a random, just one on top of my head. Oh. <laughs> where, where, <laughs> point is, wear a condom if you're going to come in his mouth. That's right. That's what we got to learn from this. Yeah, how many cases? Two a year? Two a year. Uh, well, no, no, two in history. In history. Does that include prehistory? I don't know, actually. And you know what? Barney, it'd be more romantic because he's not going to be obnoxious and scream yabba dabba do. Exactly, yeah. But I would I would kind of take that as like a feeling of success if I got Fred to scream yabba dabba do oh, yeah. with my rompous lovemaking. Yeah. Yeah. Because you say he'd make you the bottom bitch. He, oh, I'd make him my bottom bitch. Yeah. You might not know this. I'm kind of a big deal in the sack. Hmm. 
That I heard. Yeah. When you're not getting kicked in the balls. Exactly. But, exactly. Um, I've been kicked in the balls so much I have no feeling down there, so I'm able to. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sensation whatsoever, dude. W- when I was in a Chicago day camp, we um, this is like when WWF was getting fucking huge. Yeah, like it's prime peak t- Undertaker, Stone Cold. Oh you know yeah, talking about it, like uh, Degeneration X and everything. We we'd set up like all the like nobody fucking wanted to play dodgeball because that shit hurt. <laughs> like, yeah. So and then no- nobody wanted to like I I don't know. No, nobody wanted to play anything else like uh, Duck, Duck, Goose. Like all these, like when you're 12 and you think all these things are dumb. So mm-hmm. everybody set up all the gymats and we did wrestling. And you, the counselors would get in too, or they'd be refs. And like everybody can pick their character. You can only pick one character. And oh my God, I was so fucking pissed. Because when you're a kid, you can actually go all out because you weigh less. So you mm-hmm, get hurt exactly. easier. Like people were, ch- there were kids choke slamming each other, power bombing. And then, oh my God, the one kid who's the fucking son of, like, the manager of the day camp, somebody kicked him in the balls to where, to where his sack <laughs> bled. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> so he was crying, and, like, no more wrestling. It's like, oh, my God. I, I would hate – everybody fucking hated that kid. I wrestling. bet, yeah. We, my oh. brother and I just, just used to do that at my, my neighbor's trampoline. Yeah. Yeah, we'd always just sneak over to their yard when, they're, when they weren't home <laughs> and play WWF on, on their trampoline. Kick each other in the balls. Pretty much, yeah. I almost broke my nose when my brother doing a uh, doing one of X Pac's old moves, the X Factor. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that Fred Flintstone Bunny Burned Rebel question ruined a childhood memory of mine. So th- <sighs> thank you for that. You're, you're I, very welcome. I used to love, I used to love that show. <laughs> I just can't you know what the... makes it worse is that like picturing Fred the cartoon or is it John Goodman? Because I don't know, man. Oh God, which is worse? Yeah. Well, if John Goodman's in play, I'm definitely choosing Fred. More, better than Rick Moranis, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least you know, at least John Goodman has a career. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I mean, he was in the he was in the Big Lebowski. So come on. Yeah. Right. Oh, by the way, I love your uh, your Big Lebowski your uh, time mirror in your bathroom. Right. Isn't that the man yeah. of the year? I love being called the man of the year while I'm taking a shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect spot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very tasteful. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'll do one more over here. Let's do it. All right. Would you rather be a woman with a mustache or be a man with large breasts? I'm already both. Exactly. <laughs> it's 2018. Exactly. I identify as that. Are they assuming our gender? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a jure. <laughs> I, uh... And our next guest, Jordan Peterson. Is that it? He's having <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think I'd go with the breasts. I think I'd go with the breasts too, actually. Yeah, same. Yeah. It would fucking suck to be. I, th- I I actually got into an argument with a girl like a week ago. Some some girl like blurred. I, I forgot we were like waiting in some line, and she's like, "Yeah, there's a lot of girls actually who are who aren't shaving their armpits." I'm like, "Yeah, are they all fucking single? Because that shit makes you smell like onion rings." Oh, they're all just feminists. Yeah, right. I mean, no, no, ser- like you know, I, I. I I don't even give a fuck how feminine that makes me. I shave my fucking bits because that shit makes you smell so bad. Yeah. Like, I, I I don't know. I can't imagine that. Like, some uh, unshaved back. What, what are you going to draw, like, Rastafarian dreads from your <laughs> fucking pits? I don't know. It's, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's horrible. Uh, well. Once you start shaving, you start roughing up the hair. So, I've never shaved my armpits or my back. So, I've, I'm perfectly yeah. fine. But mustache tops it off though. You got you guys you guys agree on that, right? Hmm. Woman woman with mustache. What? Would not be good. Well when Depends. I'm thinking about it. So do you have to keep the mustache? Is it like a really thick like handlebar mustache? Or just like one of those ones you have like when you're like thirteen years old. Right. Or a dirty Sanchez. Or dirty Sanchez. Because I feel like it would break the rules if you could like shave it. Yeah, it's true. Right? Because then like obviously I don't know. Could you get breast reduction surgery? Would you want to? As a man? Yeah, hmm. this brings up a lot more questions. That's true. I feel like a man getting, uh, you know, there's like dick cheese. I feel a man would get like <laughs> breast cheese. <you> know? <laughs> there was a sh- there's a show I watched on Hulu. There's a character who's trying to make who's trying to sell cheese from from humans' uh, breast milk. Yeah, and they had yeah. that. Uh, they had some fucking hippie chick at uh, Desert Days doing that. Yeah, she just had bottles hooked up to her tits. 
And then there was another chick who was selling a, uh, uh, what was it? Fuck. What? Oh, she was selling bread with the yeast of her veg. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh. yeah. I want, what 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 season is the veg in? Is that uh you know that bread gonna be a little bit red and dyed? Yeah. Some, some fairy bread. Some puss bread. <laughs> oh God. So how many? How much did you buy? Oh uh, no, I I don't know. You ten, didn't. Ten. Ten. No, ten bucks says these people yeah. are vegans too. That's probably why they're all fucked up in the head. Yeah. When if they're making money on it, like good for them. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like save money but on ingredients. I guess. But that's just a you to know that, no, to that extent. Just a prime example of why you don't trust vegans. Right? Yeah. Fuck those guys. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, they're making it. I don't know. They're making it from their breath. They're making food from their own body. Would they be? Would they still eat it if it's from their yeah. own body? Because it's technically an animal. It is an animal byproduct. byproduct. Yeah. Because we're a mammal. So they probably wouldn't. Exactly. So maybe they're not vegans. Maybe they're just yeah. fucked in the head. Actually, th- there was an argument because if it, if, if we don't cons- if vegans don't consider ourselves as animals, then that human lab meat, you True. know, would like we're we're gonna be only able to eat ourselves. Yeah. Because we don't want to hurt plants. Oh God, no, not not those plants. We're gonna live in and and then all the, you know, lawn cares are gonna lose their jobs because we gotta live in like a jungle filled with like fifty oxes in your backyard. Exactly. Yeah. No thanks. It's gonna be great. I mean, it's gonna be like Jumanji. Be kind of adventurous, <laughs> you know. I kind of lost. What, how do what what <laughs> Jumanji? Yeah. The no back up. How we go from like breast milk and veggies? Bread oh, I'm to saying because like if we can't eat plants, if 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 if, if vegans would not want to hurt plants, and, and we're only because of like karma, we're only allowed to eat ourselves. And there's lab grown <laughs> meat that's human meat. Okay. We're only going to be able to eat ourselves, so we're going to be have yards that have like fucking ten foot lawns. Got you. And none of the animals are killed, so they're overproducing. So it's going to be like Jumanji. In the not too distant future. Yep. Isn't that from a song? Probably. Now you got to sing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no, uh, Kevin, you got another one. Yeah, you yeah. Wanna sure. Would you rather anything to stop you from singing? <laughs> oh, you're a bully. Uh, that's what they call me, Kevin the, Kevin the Bully. Uh, thank you again for bringing us donuts. That was really sweet of you. <coughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> I'll always give you a long, John. Oh, baby. I'm telling uh. Fred. <laughs> it's the only John that's here anymore. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather, after a 10-mile run, have to drink a gallon of hot coffee or a gallon of cream? Hot coffee, for sure. Because uh, yeah, I got a story for that, bud. Well, you guys. I think. I think I'd do the coffee. I think I would also do the coffee. Yeah. Have but you ever drank a shitload of cream before? No. Yeah. What about you, Bill? No. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, I had that problem. <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> Is that why your stomach was so fucked up? Probably. Your dude. apple cider vinegar and yeah, cream diet. Yeah. I'm fucking. <laughs> oh my god. Not not to mention I like I I literally I can't because of that vinegar I can't even have sriracha sauce because I just wait shit still to this? still oh. still a good that's a good thing though yeah sriracha yeah. is just awful oh my god what I hate sriracha I hate you good you know you know it's, you, you know up. that sriracha in Polish actually means diarrhea <laughs> coincidentally I'm not even kidding <laughs> that's pretty funny <laughs> pretty accurate description of the hot sauce all right fella but yeah no uh, me and Kelly went to um, Okay, I had this thing that when I was a kid, I always had this idea that breast milk is going to taste unbelievably creamy and unbelievably fucking amazing because I thought it's like, oh, it's richer, so it's going to be like half and half, you know? And then along the line, when I got older, uh, I saw Tom Green drink milk from a cow's tit. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, man, I got to do that one day. Um, another skeleton out of the closet. I may as well. This is This is all about vulgarity from Filthy Phil. Um, I actually, when I was a kid, my aunt had a pump that she was trying to f- fill up uh, bottles for my cousin. Yeah. And I actually tried stealing one of them because I'm just like, oh my God, that's going to be like fucking mess quick. <laughs> and, and was it? No, no, I didn't steal it. And thank God, because uh, that's pretty rednecky, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> drink your aunt's tit milk. Second of all, fucking, uh, um, I heard it tastes like watery cantaloupe water. Ew. A- any huh. breast milk. Well, well from a human. But um, anyways, so we go to this farm in Wisconsin, and and we're on this tour, and uh, the lady, like, we're going from, like, 
there's like, oh, here are the sheep, here are the goats, and then we go to the milk place. So wait, and this is you trying to do the Tom Green thing? Yeah. Okay. Because I couldn't find I couldn't find any farms where like you can actually m- go up to the cow, milk them, milk your own milk, mm. and they give it to you at the end. Uh, I guess they only do it in Wisconsin. I, I don't know. It was some pasteurization sure. law or something. Yeah. So we went there, and um, the tour, I'm, I told the tour guide, I'm like, am I able to milk her? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, into my mouth. It's like, uh, there have been people who tried it, but I don't. Uh, it messes with our insurance because it's not pasteurized, so you could get bacteria. So we're going to keep the tour going, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Like, yeah. Signaling me to do it. So then I went. I got an awesome picture. I, uh, <laughs> it sucked because I only got like a little drop. Uh, mo- the majority of it went in my eye because oh. <laughs> so, they're pretty uncontrollable sure. nips, you know. For sure. Um, and then so uh, I'm like, well, fuck. Like I only got like you know, uh, tugging on those udders. Y- you need to tug for like ten minutes just to get a glass or something. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's it's not that much, but it's a lot. So fucking um. After the tour, they're like, oh, well, we got this shop where this is all uh, our fresh milk here if you want to buy some, and you couldn't milk it. So I buy, uh, you know, we're, we're in Wisconsin. I'm like, it's totally going to get spoiled by the time we get back to Illinois. So I bought just like, you know, those little Dean bottles? Yeah. Hmm. I, I bought like that little, and we really need to get the fuck out of there. So I'm taking it. We're, we're like on the highway. I'm going like 80 miles an hour, and I just chug the thing, and I'm like, oh, my God, I feel weird. That is so fucking rich. (laughs) And I'm like farting every five minutes. (laughs) Kelly's crying. Gavin's crying. I'm telling literally every five minutes, and I'm telling Kelly, like, just throw it out the window. Just throw it out the window. She's like, no, no. I'm like, and then she takes it, and she looks at it. She's like, how do you feel right now? And my stomach was like so bad. I accidentally bought fresh whipping cream. Oh God! <laughs> and and <laughs> no. according to the nutritional facts, I had like ten thousand calories in like five minutes. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. yeah. So that shit is heavy. Yeah. So yeah, hot coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the anxiety, I think like you were mentioning, it gives you anxiety too. Even yeah. with the anxiety that we have, don't do cream. Cause no, <laughs> you will get like heart attack anxiety from <laughs> a gallon's a lot though. That is, but even yeah, still. Well, yeah, you hot can't copy. chug a gallon of milk without throwing up. So imagine a gallon of yeah. cream would be the same thing. And when I think a gallon of cream, do you remember in basketball when he's trying to psych him out and he has oh. the sack of like oh, yeah. suction? <laughs> yeah, that's like, it's thinking. Leonard Nimoy's ass fat or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, he had a lot of pork. <laughs> <laughs> I actually used to pay uh, play basketball and uh, anytime I had a party at my house. Yeah, yeah, it's a fun game to play. You know, when you have no alcohol or drugs sure. or anything. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, nothing sounds like fun. No. You I don't know. have weed or booze. <laughs> exactly. Well. <laughs>